Uh, this is a uh, basis uh, conference sort of have a look at. It's the 8th of May and there are a number of very good conferences on the way. Uh, we've got actually three we're going to talk about now. Uh, the first is with Harry Rhodes and that's the 19th of May. So it's really only about a week away. Uh, Harry Rhodes, uh, uh, Urgent News, Critical Information for Healing. And he's uh, holding a, his conference at Medway Sports Centre, uh, Social Centre at 235 Kelly Mead Road in Birmingham. And that's B338LJ. Uh, following another 12 months of research and development, we further reveal our cutting edge technologies. We not only need answers during these critical times, we need critical solid results. Uh, for those of you who are not aware who Harry Rhodes is, he's basically Mr. Etheric uh, Technology, uh, uh, etheric uh, sort of, shall we say, Wilhelm Reich type stuff. Uh, and of course, the other guy involved with all that is Mike Emery, and he's not too far away up, up in the middle, Midlands of England. So um, Harry only highlights issues he has answers for uh, at the end of the day, only results count. Just three drops of, str of this strange story of MMS. Now, there's quite a lot on this. Uh, so uh, I would ask you to go to uh, the tickets are available from www.onlyresultscount. Book your space. It's 19th of May, 12 noon to 8 p.m. So this is very important stuff. Harry is uh, getting on with things. He's working extremely hard, tirelessly on things like that. Uh, that's it there. Na 19th of May. And we'll leave that over there. The next one on the runway uh, in the month of May is Alternative View 14. That's Riding the Way, the Wave, Riding the Wave, and that's it. Alternative View 14, and that is why I'm very proud to wear a 21st Century Wire T-shirt. 21st Century Wire and that crew and the crew there have been involved with the Alternative View conferences for decades. And that's at the Leonardo Hotel Milton Keynes, Sunday the 26th of May. And the Alternative View Conference 14, Riding the Wave, the Leonardo Hotel Milton Keynes, Sunday 26th of May. You can book your tickets at the uh, website, um, at the Alternative View website. We'll put that up on stage. Uh, we'll put that up on the graphic. So uh, getting down to the beef on that, Alternative View, Sunday the 20th, tw Alternative View, AV14, Sunday the 26th of May, uh, Leonardo Hotel, Milton Keynes. The tickets can be obtained at alternativeview.co.uk forward slash shop. And that's AV14. It has a fantastic speaker lineup. And this is continuing on from the late uh, In Our Crane series, which he started many, many years ago. For this year's Alternative View, AV14, uh, it was inspired by the idea that energetic changes are happening in our galaxy and possibly that of a wave of electromagnetic and spiritual consciousness of consciousness nature is starting to hit the Earth. There are many things happening on that front. It's hosted by Gary Fraun. And the excellent speaker lineup for Sunday, the 26th of May, is our uh, Richard Robes, Wendy Stacy, Ian Simpson, Lucy Wyatt, Dr. Mangier Samantha Lawton, Johan Oldenkamp, and Gary, Gary Fraun. And you get that from, you get all the information on that from the alternativeview.co.uk. It's AV14, it's the 26th of May. Uh, the Basis Project, that's my, uh, my affair. It's, um, it's a major project, it's a major conference, like all these conferences are extremely important. And that is uh, on the 16th, the 15th and 16th of June. That's available at basistv.org. All the details are there. Uh, those who wish to set up stalls can rig on the Friday at Pusey, that's the Bouverry Hall in Pusey. Again, once again, details are available at basistv.org. And all the basis material has been loaded and we're almost there. And that's available at basistv.com. And you have to subscribe to that, it's a nominal subscription. And it allows you to find the entire Basis Project's uh, material going back to 1994. And that is available uh, at basistv.com. 
uh, on the Saturday, uh, the, one of the things we do at the Basis Conference is we try to bring in new people. They've got something to say. Some of them haven't spoken on stage at all before. Some of them have at other conferences. And we're going to have Jill Kirkham. And she's a brilliant new therapist, uh, I think, from down near Cornwall. And she opens the day on Saturday at around about 10 o'clock. Mark Pilkington will be giving a discussion on the whole uh, dynamics between the CIA disclosure thing or non-disclosure and the Pentagon. So there's a lot of information in that, very controversial. Uh, and from Wales, Jeannie Rebain will be giving a delightful sort of blast of fresh air. A very happy, wonderful lady. Uh, Mark, and, and they've, she has spoken uh, at the Swansea um, events in Swansea. Uh, and Mark Rayworth, Mark Rayworth is giving some very deep insights into the rituals uh, that the Masons and others do. It's very deep stuff, very important, and it's very groundbreaking to have this material talked about in public. We then are very honoured to have Deborah Hatswell. Deborah Hatswell has been researching material for about 25, 30 years. She's absolutely brilliant to have this, her available at, the, at, at any conference at all. It's a big deal getting her to come the whole way down from Lancashire and talk at bases at the Bouverie Hall, Pusey, and that's on the 15th and 16th of June. There'll be a potential extremely important rare visit, if not solitary uh, visit, uh, from a special investigator, one of the key investigators into the whole thing at Rendlesham Forest. Uh, they are on Basis 3. Basis 3 is a very detailed, long-winded uh, uh, series of interviews and discussion uh, and talks and presentations going back, way back before to the year 2000. I think we start, first started shooting out right, uh, right about 1998. Uh, and they have had very little exposure. So if we're able to get that extra speaker, that will be an add-on around about 6.45 in the evening. It will be a special add-on on Saturday the 15th. And that's a very, very rare opportunity to get uh, a one-to-one -one with uh, the investigators for the uh, Randall's from Forest UFO events. Now, I did have a, 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 an initial... Uh, uh, look at doing a tour of the Rentals from Forest UFO events. That has been postponed. It's too detailed and too much to do. In the last month or two, I've gone to a very rocky situation with the loss of some very good, very, very dear and close friend. And there's been a lot of bumpy roads in the meantime. In fact, I've just come back from uh, doing the Megalithomania conference, and that will be uh, so that's all on TV, and I'll be doing. I've been doing that over the weekend, last weekend. On the Sunday, I'll open and have a chat and give you a few details. Julie Phelps, and uh, Julie Phelps is uh, SSP. She is um, a propulsion systems expert, former RAF. She had to escape from the horrendous situation in Canada. It's a terrible thing to hear of the terrible satanic. Uh, things going on in Canada. Canada is absolutely, it's dreadful when you hear what's going on there. Sandy Glay is also doing a lot of work on that. She had to run for her life to come back to Britain. Now, Julie has spoken at conferences before, but she's had to keep the, the lid on a lot of things. So uh, Julie will be giving a little bit more insights into the propulsion systems used in captured uh, space technology, one from Antarctica, which went AWOL uh, near RAF Lynham a couple of years ago, and that was taken from Antarctic. The British got it there and were operating it at Lynham. The, the British bases are operating a lot of ET technology, and the term kinetic, that's kinetic. It's a company which, uh, a collection of letters, a Q at each end, and that's now uh, operating near Stonehenge. And, of course, there's a major base there in Farnborough, and that's DARPA and DARPA, the Defence Evalu Evaluation Research Projects Agency, um, has been an awful lot of detailed stuff and I do believe an awful lot of it has been for hostile forces against the interest of life on this planet and I think maybe there'll be a lot more on that and having said that Nick Pope is promoting a new film or a new documentary The Royal Family and UFOs now that's probably the biggest thing I've ever heard from Nick Pope He's talking about that. The King and UFOs, or the King and Aliens. 
So um, that's just being promoted at the moment. And this is a dateline 8th of May. So getting back to the basis project, major summer seminars at the Bouverie Hall in Pusey. It's the same venue we've been using for a number of years. There is a pub nearby for food and, uh, and there's good car parking. And there is a train station, a Pusey train station. So we're getting back to the speakers on Sunday. Okay, we're opening with uh, Julie Phelps. A new kid on the block. We did do an alien implant scan with uh, Thomas uh, Mikey Jensen, and he's been working very hard at Basis TV, putting the Basis TV website together. And he's got a very, very uh, uh, interesting lecture on the artifacts on Mars, which are taken from the published NASA photographs. So he's been working on that. We then have uh, an, uh, an extremely important presentation from an Egyptian specialist, an Egyptian, at Syed Noah. Now he gave his first presentation, which is very, very detailed, uh, at the end of August last year. And what he has to say is extremely important in terms of what's encoded in the Egyptian artwork and statues. Very, very detailed, very, very important. He's a specialist and, and he was a former administrator at Luxor and he was head of uh, artifacts there. He was, he's got very important information to say. He's Egyptian and we have been recording a whole series of the secrets of Luxor, the artifacts at Luxor, and we're continuing to record that in short, short uh, 25 minute episodes. And he's deta detailing a very important set of information encoded within all of the Egyptian statues, artifacts, even the positions and relative positions they are, uh, the pyramids are, it's the same code, everything, all encoded. And they're telling you something about where the sun used to rise and it's about to happen again. Okay, we've got a return with a brilliant team with um, Sandy Adams. Now, Sandy Adams has been working with a bunch of physicists and uh, we're just keeping their names quiet. And uh, we're hoping that S Sandy Adams and Lucy Wyatt will, pre will, pre will present meaningful information about what's really going on. So this conference, this basis conference, is joining the dots with the, with the physics of the magnetic field, the physics of the Maunder minimum, and the cycles that are happening in the solar system, and the extremely serious things happening with the magnetic fields, the two magnetic fields from the sun. And this translates and equates with the agenda of the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, and the agenda is that of complete not good news. And we have to expose this information and we're doing it in the interests and the wider interests of all organic life here. And believe you me, what they've been doing, and this ties in with um, what, uh, what Mark Rayworth is going to be revealing. They have been engaging with enemies of all life here. And that's all the big names and uh, Bob Osborne will be there. He's had a very serious operation. He won't be actually speaking, but maybe he'll be uh, joining in with the discussion, which will follow Sandy Adams and team with Lucy Wyatt on this very, very important uh, basis project conference on the 15th and 16th of June. It will be recorded for television. Everything I do is recorded for television. I've just, as I say, finished the Megalithomania conference for, um, for Hugh Newman. That was a very busy weekend and a very wonderful weekend for those who are interested in the megaliths and stuff. That was at Glastonbury. Anyway, this is a shout out for three great conferences happening um, this, this, this May and June. Just to recap, you've got um, Harry Rhodes and his material. He was at Basis 2022 or was it 2021. He's got a whole lot of stuff. He's an invented He's an inventor and pioneer of new technologies and he's getting a lot of results and on his website, he's saying urgent news, critical information for healing. And that is on uh, the 19th of May. Uh, we then hold, have alternative view the following week weekend. And we've got uh, my, my event happening in June. And there'll be more, of, more information on that. We're not able to give the high levels of uh, publicity on things. We're just getting on with things. And really with the Basis Project stuff, you either tune in, pick up what's going on. This is hardcore material when I'm dealing with. It's very hardcore, very serious. 
And it's even got me to wear a 21st Century Wire t-shirt, 21st Century Wire, and the UK column, brilliant people, brilliant independent journalists, doing an awful lot of work, very good work, whilst we are completely betrayed by mainstream media. And uh, that's a crime. It's a crime, and there's going to be consequences on that, one way or another. Okay, that's Miles on a May 8th update for three conferences in the near future.